Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Monster Truck games for the Nintendo GameCube. Monster Jam Maximum Destruction is an average to mediocre demolition derby game. On paper it's a good game, I mean you get 24 monster trucks and 8 arenas, but the core gameplay, even if it's not faulty, it doesn't have the excitement needed to push you, to, to give you that push into wanting to play more than say half an hour. The trucks all feel the same, even if they display different stats. Even after you upgrade the truck, you still can't see any difference in handling. Also the arena designs are poor. The spaces are too big for just for trucks. Some areas look good, but others are just plain and too big. At least if, they, if there were more opponents in it, it would have made sense for the big spaces. Also the game is poor in game modes too. All you do is derby, in the same 8 arenas over and over and over. Even the career doesn't have a story. So no matter which of the few game modes you choose, you do almost the same thing. But I can't lie, there is another mode, the cash grab game mode, where as the name says, you grab cash. You run through rings and you try to be the one that collected the most cash. And the big spaces make sense in cash grab, but in demolition derbies the spaces are too big for only 4 players, and the normal match types just combine the two, meaning that you have the option of either eliminating your opponents or grabbing the most cash. So no matter which of the few game modes you choose, you'll be doing the same thing. It's not a bad game, but it's definitely not one I would recommend you either. Monster Forum 4 Masters of Metal is good on paper, but it gets boring fast and I can't explain to myself why. You get races, big monster truck jumps, checkpoint races with lots of breakable stuff on the road, you can also enter into stunt exhibitions, here you can perform donuts or jump through flaming hoops. The game even has co-op multiplayer, you get 24 trucks and 27 tracks. But even if it's varied and good on paper, it gets boring easily. And this is not just my opinion, I usually read reviews before talking about a game. And it's still a mystery to me, I mean, I love it, but get bored of it easily at the same time. It's, a, it's that sort of paradox kind of game. It's that sort of game that leads you to paradoxes. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.